Google Nexus 5 rumors hint to a different battery and pricing schemes. We get some leaked renders of a Galaxy round and yeah, it's round. And it seems that Apple is planning for their iPad event to happen at a very strategic time. I'm Jaime Rivera. And with all these new round phones, do we actually need to grow an extra pair of cheeks for them? This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official bad and good news for Microsoft. On the bad side, those of you waiting for the YouTube applications to get fixed on Windows Phone, sorry guys, Microsoft has just thrown the towel. They are not working on it anymore, at least for now, and they are now sending everything to the browser, which was actually already good. But then on the good side, it seems that GDR3 will allow you to have smaller tiles on 1080p displays, and also those devices that are running WXGA displays as well, which means most of the high-end Nokia Lumia products. So. Make sure you download GDR3 when it comes out and tell us all about it. We're just waiting for a date, of course. And for those of you waiting for the HTC One Max Fablet, the company has begun distributing press invitations for Taiwanese outlets for October 18th, which is interesting since the Wall Street Journal is betting everything that the event's going to happen on the 15th. Still, everything points out to the One Max being announced at this event, which is really cool. Though, obviously, we're still not sure where it's going to be based since, obviously, this is in Taiwan. Now, on other positive news, we've got some screenshots of HTC Sense 5.5 with some major changes, so links down below for full details on that. And for all the 730 commenters that actually gave us their opinion on the pricing scheme for the Nexus 5 yesterday, guess what? We've got some leaks on how Google is planning to sell this device, and this is really interesting. I mean, first of all, if you want to go for the lower end 16 gig model, you're getting a 2300 milliamp hour battery and it'll cost you $299, which is awesome. It's just awesome for those specs. But wait a second. I mean, if you want the 32 gig model, you're not only getting 32 gigs, you're getting a bigger battery. Apparently, you're getting a 3000 milliamp hour battery with this phone and it's going to be priced hundred dollars more which is awesome just think about it if you want a higher capacity iphone or a higher capacity any phone you have to pay hundred dollars and it's the same battery so this is really cool if the leaks are true let's see how it goes now let's talk about apple as all things d is reporting that the company is planning to have their ipad event on october 22nd which is two weeks away that's awesome right well just think about this the microsoft surface 2 is going to be launched on that date and apparently Nokia is also planning to launch their Lumia tablet on that same date so judged by the fact that Apple is just doing things at a very strategic time let's see what we get at this event because well we don't have any press invitations just yet but all things D is never wrong and finally for the hot news of the day that image that you see behind me is of the Samsung Galaxy round no, I'm not kidding. This is not April Fool's. This is not a joke. These are some leaked renders of what the Galaxy Round will look like. It is a curved display from side to side. And uh, man, I'm just trying to understand this. I mean, we've got some other reports that LG is actually planning to bring curved batteries to their phones for them to be round as well. But we just never thought that the phone would be round from the sides. You know, it's usually from top to bottom and previous devices that we've seen. So, you know, that leads me to the question of the day. When you buy this phone, would you really buy this Galaxy Round, you know, round from side to side? I mean, honestly, I, I think this is the next gimmick. I, I find no point in this. I never paste the phone to my full face because I don't like my face oils to reach a display and having to be cleaning it off. So I see no point in this device. This for me is the next 3D on smartphones displays. You know, it's just gonna flop. Uh, but leave us a comment. Uh, would you buy this? And friends, as always, if you want to read the news earlier than this video gets filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.